Hello, guys. Welcome back to Refix Technology. As we were working on uh, Laravel CRUD series in this video, we will be learning how we can show the added form and the added data in that specific field. So in the previous videos, what we have done, let me show you the project so far. We did create the project and here we can insert the data. Here we can show the data. Now here we will be showing you how we can edit the data. So let's go back and come to the post and uh, let me say, let me remove this one. So we wanted to enable this edit feature. So we have to put the link first of this specific column, specific row. So we will have the ID, then we will take the ID to the edit page and show the data. Let's start the functionality on this one. So first thing we will go ahead and figure out the ID and arrange the route that you are supposed to go to the edit page. So let's come to this part form where we are running the loop and here we have ID. It's an A tag empty. I'm going to say H ref and since we are using a resource controller, so it's supposed to be post dot edit. This is how it's going to work. So edit is the function function which we'll be using. If you see the controller, here's the edit controller. So we are saying post dot edit. That's our route here. And along with this, we are supposed to pass an additional parameter, which is going to be an ID of the post like this. Now this supposed to have the ID right now. Let's check it out. Now, if I hover the mouse on edit on the left bottom, let me enlarge it. On the left bottom corner, you can see ID one, two, and three. So this is how it's working. That means Somehow we did achieve the ID of that specific row. Now, if we click on it, it'll take to the edit page, which has nothing so far because we did not create any functionality in the edit function. Let's create it. Now, if you see the edit post, it has the post model and post variable, which means it will receive the data of that ID where it is passed through the route here. So this ID post ID will be received in here in this variable and we supposed to have the data into post. So the very first thing which we are going to do return a view which is the name the name going to be post edit dot that's it post edit and we did not create this page Let's create the page first. And before I create the page, I'm going to pass this compact method and data going to be post. Keep in mind, this is coming from here. We are passing into the blade and it should work. Now I'll go ahead and we'll create the page. Post edit dot blade dot PHP. In here, we supposed to have the bootstrap form. Let me get the bootstrap. Let's code the entire thing rather than copying, pasting. Let's make it happen. I'm going to copy, paste. That's the bootstrap boiler template. I'm going to take a section. PY going to be five. Let's take a container. Container. Then I'll say row. I'm going to say call MD5. Let's say a card with padding three. I'm going to take card padding three, H2, add it. And I'll say post title. Now, if you remember, the post is coming from here and passed into it this so technically that specific id came into the controller 
logic and we pass into the blade. That means we have that specific row details. So I can use this title, then I'm going to say a form, supposed to be a post, and route going to be post dot update and along with the update we are supposed to pass the id post id this is how you know go as you know in laravel we are supposed to pass in forms csrf token along with csrf we are supposed to pass the method which is gonna be the put method now let's got it so first div margin bottom three and I'm going to take a label, label going to be just the label, it's title. And in the input, I'm, I'm typing everything just to make sure you should learn rather than keep copy pasting. Prefer this thing, it will save the data into your memory and it makes the ease for everyone. It's going to be text. The name gonna be title. And since we are in edit page, we are supposed to pass a value and the value gonna be what? Post title. Along with this, I'm gonna pass the error as well. Error, if the title has error, it'll show span text danger and the message. In the similar way, I'm gonna do for image, margin bottom three, label gonna be image and let me say input gonna be file name gonna be image let me pass the image as well img tag and now look at what i'm gonna do i'll show the image on the page asset is a global function which we can use to get the public folder access. Then there's a folder named uploads, then images folder. Then we will concatenate the image name, post image. And I'll style the image a little bit. So width should be only 100 pixels. And we should have the image. At the same time, I'll show the error in case of any error happens, key gonna be image span dot text danger. And that's the error message. The last thing I'm gonna do, show the div margin button thin body label gonna be body. And we'll pass the text area, text area, the name going to be body, value going to be post body, and we're going to pass within the text area as well, post body. In case of any error happens, we'll show the error here in line error body span dot text danger and the message. The final the button div margin bottom three supposed to be a button gonna be a submit button. Let's give a class. BTN, BTN, let's make it primary, submit. Let's see how it looks like now. Hopefully it should work well. So refresh and yep, it did work. We're supposed to have a class and it should be fine. So let me say here on each input tag, we're supposed to have a form control class, form control class form control so it becomes more attractive in terms of visual visualization form control now we see a proper let's make it a little bit shorter it's supposed to be h 
six h six. Now, if you see that, what's going on? Let me go back here. These are three different datas. If I click on edit, it'll take this row data. Row title comes here after edit, I fetch title. Then here's the title, here's the image, and that is the body. This is how it's gonna work. So in this video, we did learn how we can show the edit form and the specific ID data. In next video, we're gonna be learning how we're gonna go ahead and update the record. Plus, in case if we change the image, it'll go ahead and delete the old image and upload the new image. So we would not have a lot of junk into our server. Stick with the series, subscribe for more videos, and thank you for your support. Bye for now. I'll see you in the next one.